Hello, I'm Admiral McFish, and this is a tutorial on how to hack and play as Doral in Virtua Fighter 10th Anniversary. Uh, this is done via an emulator, so you know this is for people doing it via emulator, not in the actual console itself, just so you're aware. Uh, there are some people who've asked before if this stuff works in the console. If you could link your console up to a computer, maybe, but this is primarily intended for people who are playing it via an emulator. For this, you're going to need three things. You will need the emulator and the game itself open. You will need a hacking program open, uh, something such as Art Money or Cheat Engine. Uh, I recommend and use Art Money, I just think it's a bit more user friendly. And when you open it, make sure to select the process, which is to say the emulator that we're going to hack, because you need to do that for this to work. You'll also need the character values for this game, but don't worry about those because I'll just provide them in the description, but you will need to have them on hand. So 10th Anniversary doesn't use the same values uh, or rather the same addresses as Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution itself, it's quite interesting, but it's more or less the same method essentially. So we'll start off initially just going here and we'll pick Pi. And then it's just going to be sort of a basic hack. Um, as a reminder, if you haven't watched one of my tutorials before, do be sure to go back and watch the very first video I did on like the basics of boss hacking. It'll just sort of explain what we're about to do here. So with this address range value, make sure to select it to all, because it won't work otherwise. And then we want to search initially for her value, which is 5. I think actually I'm going to go back and do that one just again, just to be sure. So we will search for 5, address range all, and pi's value is 5, so we'll search for 5 initially. And we'll go back to the main menu and go back into Arcade again. Let's go for Lao next. And Lao's value, as you can see, is 2, so we will filter for 2. Do that a few times. And then we'll go back to the main menu again and back into Arcade. We just keep doing this until we find the address that affects the character, basically. Right, let's do Shindy. And Shun is value 3, so we will filter for 3. Cool, that's a good sign. Cool. And let's do another, just another character to test out if we can narrow that down anymore. It always helps to help narrow it down to see if it affects, if you need fewer addresses than you actually do. Because sometimes it will display more than it needs to, but those won't actually have any effect on trying to find or trying to access the character, basically. It really does vary. Let's do Jeffrey. Jeffrey is 4, so these all should appear as 4, and not all of them do. That's a good sign, actually. So it means we narrow it down just a bit more. So, Jarrell's uh, value is 13, so theoretically speaking, if we change, I think it's the first six of these that we have here, then we should get Doral. It was six in Virtua Fighter 4 Revolution, so I believe it's six here as well. And we need to freeze these into place after we type the value into the addresses, basically. And you can do this either by clicking here, sort of these boxes here, or by uh, using shift and click, and then right clicking and clicking freeze here. So let's go back into the arcade. Yep, and there is Doral. Now, here's a weird thing, as I mentioned in Evolution. Uh, you can't select her. I'm trying to select her by pressing the button. It won't let me. It's really, really weird. But once you press A, if you just press the controller in any direction, it will then select a character. But because you're forcing it to load the value of Doral, it will still allow you to play as her, as you can see there.
Now, I'm not sure if you actually need all those six values, but I've done it before. I've only done two or I've done three out of these six, and instead it's loaded a weird glitch character instead, but it's obviously been trying to load Doral. So this is more a safety thing than anything else. It just seems to make it run correctly, so I'd recommend doing that. Uh, if you get to this point and it's not working like it should do, that is to say you don't have all of these, just select a few at a time, put in the value, and then freeze in place, test it out. If it doesn't work, go back and try it again. But this method, I believe, should work. It's worked consistently for me when I tried it before, and I hope and I expect, actually, that it will work consistently for you as well. Hope this helps you out. If you have any issues, any queries, anything else, please do let me know. This is not as surefire as a lot of my other stuff, which is a bit more annoying, but it does work once you get it down, so that's good at the very least. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching, and yeah, any issues, please do let me know.